Akafet YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Let's cook with me from start to finish. Hello my darlings, I'm back with a new recipe and this one is the Creole Day menu that I did last week's Sunday. I'm gonna start by adding some water to a pot and boiling my saltfish for about 10 minutes just to remove any excess salt. Once it's boiled, I'm gonna drain off the water and I'm gonna flake it into smaller pieces. To go with this stewed saltfish, I'm gonna be making some green banana mash and I'm just gonna start by oiling my hands as this will help to prevent any stains from sticking onto my hands. I'm gonna peel the bananas and place them in some water to boil for about 10 minutes or until it's fully cooked. So while my bananas are boiling, I'm going to go ahead and just blend up some fresh seasonings starting with some onions, spring onions, some peppers as well as some red onions and garlic and I'm just going to blitz that up for about 30 seconds until it's roughly chopped. Now that my bananas are cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and drain them and I'm gonna mash it. If you don't want to mash it, you can always just serve it as is. However, I like to add a new twist on things whenever I'm trying out recipes. So I'm just gonna mash it with some butter. You can reserve a little bit of the water that the bananas were boiled in, but I don't think it's necessary. Once the bananas are boiled really soft, it is going to mash really quickly. I'm going to season lightly with just a little black pepper, give it a quick mix and our mashed bananas was ready. Onto my saltfish. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil to a pot, followed by some tomato puree for some color. Give it a quick mix and then add in your freshly chopped seasonings. Because my saltfish already has salt, I'm very mindful about adding salt in this. However, feel free to add a little black pepper in there and some all purpose if you want to add more salt. I didn't think it was necessary, so I didn't add any salt in this. I'm gonna give it a good mix and let it simmer for about five minutes and turn it off.
growing up in the islands, my granddad always used to make a cucumber salad whenever my granny cooked banana and saltfish. And what I'm doing, I'm just slicing up some cucumbers really finely. If you want, you can grate it, it's entirely up to you. And I'm just gonna add a little drop of oil and a pinch of salt, give that a good mix. That is all you will need for your cucumber salad. After the salad is ready, it's time to serve up dinner. gonna start by adding a generous amount of the banana mash followed by some saltfish, some of that avocado and some of that salad and the dinner was ready. I really hope you enjoy this quick cook with me. Try it soon, let me know how you like it. I know it's coming late but I did post this as a reel on Instagram at Terrian's Kitchen and yes my darlings this was my Creole day menu last week's Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.